how to create macros in Excel to automate our daily tasks. As you guys can see, I have created here four different buttons. The first two buttons, I have two macros that are kind similar to each other, that are to sort from A to Z or to arrange from Z to A. And the last two buttons, I have hide some columns and to show the hidden columns, to unhide the columns. Uh, so I can click on the button and automatically Excel is going to run the macro that I created. So let's see step by step how can we apply macros in Excel to help us with our daily routine. So let's go. To get started, we first need to enable the developer tab. And to do so, we can go to, for example, the home tab. And in any blank spot, you can right click and then go to customize the ribbon. Within those new options, you can choose instead of popular commands, all tabs. Then you're going to find developer. So you can click on it and then click add. And then you can click OK. Simple as that. Now we already have the developer tab activated in Excel. But anyway, the second thing that is crucial is to have a data set to make sure we can apply the macro to our data. Uh, here, as you guys can see, my data set is actually a data set. It's not format as a table, for example. So I think it's very important to change the data set into a table in Excel because with the table, uh, the macro is going to work more precisely. So let me select the first cell that I have here, click, hold and drag throughout the whole data set that I have. OK, like this, I select everything. Now I can go here to insert table. Excel is going to open up this new window here and make sure you check the option. My table has headers and then OK. Yeah, that's it. Now I have a table in Excel. And as we can notice, a Excel table has some filters, such this ones here uh, at the header that I can click and sort or organize or filter the data. So, however, instead of manually click on the filter and then sort the data, we are going to automate this task. So basically, Excel is going to do the actions that uh, in the beginning we are doing manually. So let me go here to developer. And then the first two that I, tool that I'm going to use is going to be record macro. I can give this macro a name such as sort from A to Z, for example. And in this case, I want to use the products. Another thing that uh, we can see it's not very organized are the dates. Uh, 2027, 2026, 2028, and then again 27. Uh, so we need to better organize the first column too. But anyway, let's start with sort from A to Z the products. I give this name using space to separate the words. And if I click OK, Excel do not allow me to proceed because I cannot use space to separate the, the words. However, how can I do? I can use a underscore instead of the space. Sort underscore from a underscore to underscore z. OK, like this. And then OK. Now the macro is already working and recording all the clicks and actions that we do. The action that I want to do here is very straightforward. I want to go to the column C, click on the filter button and then I want to sort from A to Z. We done. Simple as that. Let me stop recording and it's already working. If I sort my data using other criteria, let's say the order ID from A to Z, of course, the product are going to not be sorted. But if I go again to macros to find the macro that we created, and then I click on run. As we can notice, the products again, 
now are sorted from A to Z. However, instead of go every time to developer tab, macros, lookup for the macro that uh, we recorded and then run, we can make those steps uh, sim simple, let's say. We can go to insert and then create a shape that is a rectangle. I can click, hold and drag to create the area of the rectangle. And within this rectangle, I can link or assign the macro. However, before we do it, let me double click one, two within this rectangle. And then I'm going to, I'm going to give it a name such as sort from A to Z. Okay. Let me select all those text and then go to home tab, increase the font size and also center horizontally and vertically, put everything in bold. And I can also change, let's say, the, the colors, the shape format. However, I can go to the tab uh, of shape format and uh, maybe I want to use a greenish color like this one right here. Make uh, the button like this. I think it's very good. And if I right click on this button, I can assign the macro that I create that is here. Sort from A to Z. Okay. Now, if I click in this macro, as we can see, even the cursor is going to change the its icon. And the table is going to be automatically sort from A to Z using the product as a criteria. Now, I want to do the opposite from Z to A. So, I, we can go again to the developer and then record macro and then sort underscore from Z to A. Make sure you are using underscore instead of space. And then, okay, I can click on the product, filter, sort from Z to A. That's it, we're done. Stop recording. Now we can go again to this button. However, be very careful because if you click on the button, you are going to activate the macro. But I don't want to activate the macro or run the macro. I want to copy and paste this button. However, to make sure it's possible, I need to use the control button. So press and hold down the control button. Click on the button that you have. And then you can use the shortcut keys of Excel that is control C and control V. Control C, control V. That's it. Let me bring it down like this. Now I want to change the text. Sort from Z to A. That's it. And I also want to go to shape format and maybe change slightly the colors. Or I can change it completely. I want to use blue. Okay, like this. Now I have from A to Z and Z to A. However, as you guys can see, the macro is not working properly because I forget to sign the actual macro to this last button. So right click and then I can go to assign macro and I want to use the second one from Z to A. Okay. Yeah. Now we're done. That's it. It's working. Other macros that we can create here in Excel are macros to, let's say, sort by the date or by the ID, or using any other columns that we have. Or in this case, I want to do something very specific. That is to hide some columns. Let's see, I don't want uh, everybody to see all the columns that I have. So I want to hide some specific columns. I want to hide the column A, the column D, the column E and F. I'm only going to keep with the columns B, C and G. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let me go again to developer and then record macro. And then this name right here is going to be hide columns. Okay. I want to click on the column A. Uh, in the letter, right? On the, the letter A, right click and then hide. I want to do the same process to 
the customer click right click hide and the same thing for the product click right click and then hide that's it let's say i want to keep up only with those informations and then i can go to stop recording and i want to do a another macro that is going to be show hidden columns and then okay i want to show all those hidden columns and to do this process i can select let's say column h all the way to the left click hold and drag all the way to the left like this until the ending of excel then you can right click on those columns and then go to unhide then you can click let's say on the first cell a1 that's it uh, because every time you run the macro it's going to select a1 as the ending point and then stop recording and we're done now let me copy and paste again those buttons to make it easier to create more buttons instead of do all the process again let me control and then click on the button control c control v click hold and drag to the right control c to, uh, and control v again click hold and drag down this first one let me control click and control click on the on the last i want to change the name to hide columns and the last one is to show hidden columns right Yeah, I think i uh, not be able to manage the entire name, so I'm just going to keep up with this. Show hidden columns and then hide columns. The button, uh, the last one, I want to change the color to maybe this orange fill. And I want to fill the first button here, hide columns with a gray column like this. Yeah, I think we're done. Now let's assign the macros to the buttons, right click and then assign macro, hide columns, okay, and the second one, right click, assign macro, show hidden columns, okay, that's it, we're done. So let's check and see if it's working. Start A to Z from Z to A, okay, so we can arrange the data using the criteria that uh, we did before. And of course, we can also hide the columns or show the hidden columns. And be mindful because once you create some macros in Excel, you need to change the file extension. You cannot use anymore XLSX. You need to change to another file. So let me go here to file. And then all the way down here, I want to click on save as. I want to go to browse. I can give it a name, the name that I like the most. And uh, the very important thing is here, save as type, Excel macro enabled workbook. Okay, so this is the option that you need to use. XLSM, this is the most important thing. 